Hello, this is Ray Motor from ACG, and welcome to this edition of the Hot Seat. Joining me today is Sumi from Juniper Network. Sumi, thanks for joining the Hot Seat. Hey, Ray. Welcome. Now, uh, I'm excited about, I mean, I think you had a launch, try right, regarding the, the Contrail Cloud, and more importantly, the acquisition of Atformix. That's got to be exciting for you. Yeah, it's extremely exciting on both fronts. Yeah, good. Course. Well, in the Hot Seat, we like to get started right away. Yeah. Right? We like to get to the point, at least that's the way our audience is now. Maybe to set the playing level, right, is do you mind defining your definition of telco cloud, right? And then the second part of the question is what solutions does Juniper offer in that area? Yeah, so, um, I mean, if, if, we, if we just look at this entire space of, of telco cloud, it's going through a complete transformation, right? right? I mean, you used to have um, these uh, cores that were essentially designed around physical environments, and now all of a sudden they're all being virtualized. Right. We are we are having this this migration from physical to virtual, all because we want to be more agile. Right. We want to be more efficient in delivering our our services, and that's the vision we want to enable with that with the telco cloud agenda. Right. Yeah. Now, um, it, it, tell me if I'm correct on this. I mean, I, I think I understand that. You know, Contra Cloud is all about service providers cloudifying their infrastructure for an FE, right? right. Or for VNS, right? Yep. I mean, if, if that's the case, you know, do you still think service providers need to offer five nines availability to their end user customers? And then how does Juniper play in that particular role? Right? Yeah, actually, of course, we need to provide availability, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, that's the key. But if you, if you think about how this Telco Cloud is transforming, it's, uh, I mean, if Traditionally, if we were to think about cloud, we think, oh, it's some large data center yeah. somewhere where all of our data is stored. Mm -hmm. But the telco cloud is not like that. Okay. The telco cloud is extremely distributed. Right. It has many different moving parts. And then right. within each of these distributed sites and mm -hmm. these pops and these edges, you have all this software that all of our mobile calls are going through. That's right. Yeah. So it becomes extremely important to yeah. keep those clouds running, right. the applications on those clouds running right. with, with high availability so right. that, you know, our calls don't get disrupted. Right, yeah, so it's, I guess it's important to keep the, the zero, you know, five nines availability, whether you move to cloud or the That's, normal infrastructure. Yeah. Now, what role, I mean, since your background comes from AppFormix, right, from my understanding is that AppFormix is about uh, service assurance, right, to be able to maintain the SLAs for this VNFs, right? I mean, how are you able to do that, right? without having any service disruption. Yeah, so uh, we got to look at a little bit of history here. And okay. the, the history that we got to look at is, if we think about traditional infrastructure, um, I would say that that infrastructure was monitored mm -hmm. and managed in, in kind of like siloed environments. Okay. You'd look at you know servers in, in some way, you'd look at you know your physical networking in, in some mm -hmm. way. But now with the cloud, really all of these different pieces come together to deliver a service, right? right? And then what with AppFormix, what we've really brought to the table and is how now you look at all of those different components of the infrastructure, mm -hmm. both the physical and the virtual, as well as you know, the, the application that runs on it in a single pane. Right. And how we are able to like, really do it in real time, right. run analysis on it, right. like, understand in real time what's going on, where mm -hmm. it's going on, and then, you know, build automation around that. Yeah. Like if you're noticing that some faults are happening, yeah. then hey, can you do something about right. that? Yeah. Yeah, now, uh, real time is great. I mean, I think it's, it's definitely important, but can you elaborate on your definition of real time? Yeah, so, in, in, so if real time in our case is truly real time, right? We want to get to a point where we can predict that a failure is going to happen, okay. right? I and see. then even run the automation at that point mm -hmm. and even prevent the failure from happening, right? right? So uh, let's, let's think about this, right? If, if I go to the traditional model, right. um, really with me working in my silos, the way we keep infrastructure up is essentially, you know, that we'll have some kind of tools um, that are built for consumption by operators, right. human operators, where somewhere I can go look at a screen, see what's going on, and right. then take some actions based on right. that. Yeah. But then if we put that in this new world where our services are now virtualized, our phone calls are going through this environment, some human waiting for 
something to break or seeing some dashboard somewhere is going to be too slow. Right. So what we've done with AppFormix is built this high high performance scalable telemetry system yeah. that can analyze metrics from that entire stack, okay. physical, virtual app, right. in real time, like truly real time, right. sub-second granularity, wow. right? Yeah. And then take actions based off of that analysis. Right. So if some service is, some service is dying or facing disruption, right. we can spin a new instance up. Right. We can move things around. Yeah. You know. yeah, no, I think it's great. I mean, the capability to be able to have you know, automation uh, driven by real-time analytics, it helps solve those problems and errors you know, more efficiently, correct? I mean, I, I mean, I think based on what you're saying, Contro Cloud, a, a lot of it is driven by the app formix, right, capability to be able to have that five nines availability. Yeah, right? so yeah. Contro Cloud yeah. is really, the, um, of course, you start with a really awesome platform, right? Yeah. but then we have Contro Networking, uh -huh. which is high performance SDN, right? right, which is already very used, I mean, used mm -hmm. essentially That's everywhere right. in the industry. Yes, right, yeah. And then to that, we've added AppFormix, okay. which now gives you that entire operations visibility through the stack, yeah. right? And all of that coming together in a single bundle solution, yeah. you know, really becomes the platform for for your organization then to yeah. run, to run right. your high performance Applications. applications on it. Now maybe we can close with, um, I always ask the question about is this product real, right? <laughs> is it shipping that? Now from my understanding is that Contrail has already been adopted in okay. companies like AT&T and Orange, but does that really mean that it's geared for tier one customers only? Actually Contrail yeah. Cloud could be used used by all kinds of, okay. uh, kinds of customers at all levels. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, the key thing there is that it's all bundled in. Right. It's easy to deploy. Okay. But the best thing now is that with Juniper, we can manage that cloud for you right. as well, and we can deliver it right. to you as a managed service, right. which is which is really the new offering that That's we are right, announcing. Yeah. Yeah. So you make it easier for the customer. Extremely yeah. easy. Yeah. 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 Well, good. You're officially off the hot seat. Thank you. With Sumi, this is Ray Moda. Thanks for joining this edition of the hot seat.